Bismillah wa salatu wa salam Rasulillah ma ba'd. Welcome everyone to our weekly update, or I guess it's not weekly anymore. I have been somewhat lagging on the video uploading part, but hopefully that's to be remedied very soon, inshallah. Now, two updates. Number one, I've had a question, so it's not really an update, but a question about how to make money online with cybersecurity, how to focus on that. And number two is about the mentoring and coaching sessions. So I'll start off real quick here with number two, and that is I've closed the coaching sessions for the time being. I had the last coaching session a couple of weeks ago, but frankly, I've been just busy with a number of things that haven't allowed me to restart the coaching sessions. Once I do, I will post the website and you can book your coaching sessions there for one-on-one -on -one mentoring, as I mentioned previously. So do apologize for the delay there, just a kind of a busy schedule. Now, coming back to number one, the question is, how do you make money online with cybersecurity? And there are a number of ways, and I'll keep it short. Number one, if you're in the job market, then obviously you want to polish up your resume, which is the age-old advice, but you also want to upload your social media profiles. More specifically, I would focus on LinkedIn. You really want to have a very welcoming header, a banner, uh, the photograph of your choice, that everything should be seamlessly simple and easy to understand and make the visitor want to scroll down and learn more, right? Your storefront. That's what it is. Your social media profile, LinkedIn profile specifically, is your storefront. That's how people know you, if they're hiring you, if they want to do business with you. A lot of things, right? In addition to that, if you have more profiles, then you also want to make sure you're presenting yourself there in a very nice way and generally makes people want to know more about you and do business with you. Now, how do you do that? Well, you do a number of things. It's not just the banner and the header and the photo and the about section and your experience. It's also what you post. That really matters. And I would say one of the best things you can do in life right now for you, if you're married, for your kids, for your family, for wherever it is, stop consuming social media as a consumer for hours on day, nonstop, mindlessly scrolling through videos upon videos with no benefit. It's just a waste of time. Do not make social media an escape for you. That's the worst thing you can do, man. Instead of facing your problems and solving them, just running away from them. That, I mean, it doesn't help. All this doing is wasting time. It's like, you know, it's like an injury that you're just ignoring and numbing with time. It's going to become very unpleasant to deal with to the point where the metaphorical leg met, might have to be chopped off. And you don't want to be in that position, man. You don't want to wait till things are so bad to achieve something in life that you're just so desperate you'll accept anything. That applies for jobs too. If you're applying for a job, apply for a job when you're happy in your current job. Don't wait till you're desperate. Don't wait till you have no other options and you're already in debt. And that's when you're applying for the new job because guess what? Any offer at that time would do because you're that desperate. The ideal way to apply for jobs is apply for them early on when you have money in your pocket, when you're comfortable mentally and you're not pushed and you're not in a position of difficulty because then you can ask for what you want and what you're worth and what you desire rather than agree to some petty offer that is just a nine to five rat race. Hopefully you never have to face that. But if you do, then, you know, lesson learned, right? And the whole social media consumer thing is, you, it's, it's just really a waste of time, man. There are very few consumers, meaning people who view, listen, watch, and see social media that benefit from it, right? Just because it's a podcast doesn't make it good and worth your time. Just, you know, and, and before you realize that you've spent hours online and it's like, what happened to the time? And it's like, okay, now I got to go to bed. Tomorrow's work again. And you're unhappy at your job. You're unhappy at your home and you're neglecting your responsibilities. And that just is a recipe for an unhappy life, right? So in short, what I would say is avoid social media like the plague as a consumer, unless it's for something beneficial. You're learning, you're improving, you're teaching. You know, something is happening where you're benefiting your job, maybe you're benefiting your family. I do get, you know, some, some people just need to wind down, but I think that's the problem. Winding down has become a lifestyle for most people where every second they get, every moment they get, it's on social media as a consumer. And you might be thinking, well, you are using social media too. That's how you have this video uploaded for us to watch. I would say absolutely. But I'm a producer. I'm, I'm a consumer too, by the way. But I'm producing content, and the, the point of the content is to benefit people, to teach people, hopefully to start a business online, or continue the business online, make money, benefit people along the way, and have a good living, inshallah, you know? I mean, that's what the goal should be, right? So, coming back to your LinkedIn profile, you want to post quality content, you want to build quality connections with people, nurture a, 
an amazing network of solid mentors, friends, recruiters, teachers, peers, and even people you can eventually maybe, or currently, be a mentor too. You want to help people, you want to learn from people, and you want to benefit people. So, inshallah, it will work out in a very nice way. It's a combination of a great profile, which is your storefront, nicely set up, which has your content on it, regularly posted, hopefully. And that way people are like, hey, who is this person? I want to know more about them. They're posting this amazing content. It really benefits me. And I want to, oh, guess what? I'm going to follow them first of all. Okay, so they follow you. And then eventually you might get a connection request. And pretty soon they might be literally asking for help with a job. Or maybe they want to hire someone. Or maybe a recruiter reaches out to you because your profile, slowly but surely, gains traction after time, right? You have one follower, then you have two, then ten, then... And it goes on and on. But it's not a followers game. It's not a subscribers game necessarily only. I mean, you'd be surprised. I've seen people who have literally 5,000 subscribers and they are multimillionaires. And I've seen people who have hundreds of thousands or possibly even more than a million subscribers. And they're not even like six-figure earners, you know? So it really varies from person to another. And how they leverage that vehicle, which is their social media presence and profile now, in the short term, if you do need something quick and you're, you're like, okay, I'm applying for jobs, but what do I do in the interim? How do I make money right now, today? Well, if you have skill set because of which you're applying for jobs, you can do side hustles. So you can do something on Fiverr. You can do something on Upwork, which is offer your skill, offer a digital product, offer something or the other where people buy it, and then you offer them that product or service. And the way to do it is initially you want to price it very low and you know, 10x the service, like amazing, amazing return for the customer. But don't go to the point where it's actually hurting you. What I'm saying is go above and beyond within reason to provide them additional value, which in turn will get you an amazing review from them on those websites. Once you have enough reviews, you can slowly raise your prices a little bit because people now trust you. You have a track record of providing, you know, very, very good service. And you'll see that pretty quickly you start to get more and more orders and that's when you want to organize things and not get overwhelmed. But that's for later. Essentially, that's another way to make money. A third way to make money is also going online and going through your connections in LinkedIn and offering the same thing you would in Fiverr, right? I mean, cold calling is not my thing. Never really done it in my life. It seems to work amazingly for people. But even that, if it's done in the right way, I think it can, you know, achieve great results. But in short, that's what you want to do. You want to apply for jobs. You want to build your network. You want to nurture relationships. And at the same time, as side hustles, you can have Fiverr or Upwork or plenty of other websites where you can offer your services to people and they pay you for it. So those are some quick ways to make money, find jobs, find gigs, find contracts. And by the way, so LinkedIn isn't just jobs that are full time. You can do consultation. You can do part time jobs. You can even, you know, like I said, reach out to people and see if they need help or get advice for that. And you'll be surprised at the results that you get. The only thing I would say is you want to be careful with these side gigs in person or even online. Don't get in too deep. Sometimes they're just simply not worth it. And that, I guess, comes with experience where you find that it's just a rotten deal beginning to end and you don't want to waste your time. So things like Fiverr and, you know, Upwork or, and I'm not associated with those websites, by the way, but I'm just saying, Websites that act as an intermediary between you and your customer really help smooth things out so that they can't scam you out of your money. They can't, you know, essentially not pay you or in turn, they do guarantee and get your services as well. So those would go a long way in helping you out. And with that being said, have a good one.